Hey everybody, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Super excited for today's subject, even though it might make some people feel uncomfortable. I'm a boy mom, so I can talk about this subject. <laughs> and I'm also a health coach, and so I always try to bring down those walls with people and let them know that this is a subject that really shouldn't be taboo. It ends up being taboo for a lot of people, but it's something that we all should be doing and the regularity of it is important, the consistency of it is, impor of it is important. Um, so we really should make it a subject that we are having because so many people are really struggling with some digestive imbalances, their gut health, you know, 70% of our immune system comes from our gut and that often will impact our ability to have um, regular bowel movements per day. Yep, we're gonna go there. We're gonna talk about our bowels. And so, you know, it's, um, a lot of people don't realize the regularity and the consistency that's supposed to take place with our bowels. A lot of times it has to do with the quality of our food. Uh, we are very heavily processed in our North American Western diet and that processed diet takes away a lot of our key vitamins, minerals um, that give us the ability to have an environment that is ultimately doing its job, which is having a meal. And then after we have that meal, we should be eliminating that meal. That's what ideal elimination is. So we should eat and poop. Uh, and that should be happening three times per day. They should be formed, they should be snake-like. Um, good bacteria like probiotics will help form those stools. Um, but it's not happening for a lot of people. I know even thinking about um, even like the Super Bowl, uh, the years past, we're just encountering more and more commercials, pharmacy, for this type of um, thing that's happening for a lot of people. I mean, does it just not seem like anytime you turn around, you're encountering somebody with some sort of digestive imbalance where it's IBS Crohn's or IBS loose or IBS constipation or celiac. There's so many things happening out there for our society in relationship to our gut. We are severely, severely compromised. And a lot of times it's just a matter of getting some key uh, minerals back into our diet. Things like magnesium and sodium bicarb and vitamin C, those are all types of things that make the environment within our digestive system friendly so that when we are bringing in that food intake, our body is metabolizing it, breaking it down. But what happens is, is we end up with a very acidic environment within our immune system um, because of those processed foods. And then we end up with a um, improperly balanced pH and we're, we become compromised. And you know, what happens is, is if we eat a meal and it's not exiting our body, where is it going, right? Um, it's layers upon layers that it builds and adds, just like um, plaque on arterial walls in our uh, cardiovascular system. Same thing, that waste will line and build up and create plaque within our digestive system and we become compromised with even our immune system, like things like asthma and allergies um, are all compromised actually within the gut. So whenever I see somebody struggling with um, those sort of things like allergies and asthma, which um, you know I've had my share of those things, especially a lot more when I was struggling or you know full-blown illness, uh, but the, it's always a sign for me like the skin is is what I see in people's skin is evidence of their gut and what I see um, with the <clears throat> Ability to breathe freely and not be blowing the nose all the time and be congested Those are all things that are in relationship to how our gut is functioning Isn't it crazy to think that even our gut can impact things like our seasonal allergies and that we have things like um, the food that we're intaking, if we have a high sensitivity to certain foods and we're intaking a lot of those, and then what starts blooming out in the environment will actually create that allergy response because we've got too many things happening where our body's defense mechanism, it's our immune system, uh, doesn't have the ability to fight those allergens. A lot of times that has to do with the uh, toxic level of our digestive system. It, I mean, it's just so interesting to be able to connect those dots with people and, and, and help them come to a better place. And I think when we're having the conversation of, of this, this quote unquote taboo subject, I think we will normalize it. The more that we're talking about it, the more we are working toward um, being proud. I pooped today, right? <laughs> I've got a t-shirt that I wore, um, I don't know, four or six weeks ago that's cute, pink, and it says, I pooped today. And 
it's important to be proud of that because it, it's a good sign of your health. It's a good sign that things are happening, that your body is operating and functioning as it should, right? Um, and it's it's an okay thing to talk about. And, and for me, it's a sign of strength when people put their pride down and they say, I need help in this area. Um, just so you know, when, when you come to me with this type of subject, it excites me actually that people can feel confident to talk about that because I'll tell you why it excites me. It encourages me that pride is gone and the white flag is up and we are saying we need help. And that's, it's, it's all about releasing that spirit of pride and saying you're not where you want to be but you um, have hope that you can get where you want to go so I love helping people provide that space for hope that um, more to move more and more in optimal optimal wellness um, with this uh, subject that is um, categorized as taboo but really shouldn't be for our society so let's backtrack a little bit what and talk about how many you're supposed to have so three ideally two to three more optimal snake-like formed bowel movements per day. And again, those good bacteria, those probiotics help form those stools. Um, flaxseed is also a real good um, form of fiber that helps um, strengthen and, and get the solidity to those stools. We don't want them too hard, but we don't want them loose as well because that means that we're not absorbing our nutrients if we've got a sign of, a, you know, if we've got looser bowels happening, something is happening where um, we're creating a space for them to be too loose and not formed, but they really should be that snake, like two to three per day and um, raise your hands and, and <laughs> get excited when those things are happening because it's actually a sign of wellness and it's important to be um, confident in where you're at and moving in more and more of that wellness. So. I hope we can normalize this subject and not have it be so taboo and make sure that more and more people are moving in that. Um, I can make some great recommendations for you for what I use, what I promote in my practice, what I give to my loved ones, the people that I know and love the most that ha ha help them have the most success with this area of optimal wellness. And I actually, this is one of my wellness tips that... Um, I don't think you can see this super well, but I have a, um, a list a, a list of wellness tips that I give to everybody um, who I work with. And um, I've got a list, I would love to be able to get it in your hands totally free, that um, you can get access to this this um, list of some of my top tried and true uh, wellness tips. There's It's 10, 10 on the list. I'd love to get a copy in your hands totally free. Um, just let me know, wave your white flag and say, I would love a copy and I will get you a copy. Actually, if you go to my website, choosingthebestyou.com, there is a little tab at the top that says free gift. If you click on that, put in your email, it will send you those wellness tips. So totally free for you um, to get you that list. And then if you have any questions on those, please reach out and let me know. I'd love to make sure you have clarity on those tips. Um, I know the landscape of wellness can be a little bit um, daunting these days because we're getting so many things coming at us on a regular basis. Eat this, don't eat that, take this supplement, don't do that supplement. I know it's confusing, but I want you to know some of these things have stood the test of time. There are no-brainer things that really have helped um, so many people stand the test of time with the most optimal wellness. Um, so I feel confident in getting this list in your hands to know you won't have to worry about the um, them changing because they're so tried and true uh, um, tips for you for the best version of you. So hopefully you're having a fantastic day, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Appreciate your love, support, and friendship. And we will see you next week.